So let's talk for a minute here about locating an antenna. These new digital signals that are riding on the carrier frequency seem to act a little bit different. They seem to be able to get around objects better because they're digital and I guess some component of that wavelength is moving a lot faster and much shorter so it can bounce around things. Right now this is the view towards Tampa. The Tampa stations are anywhere from 40 miles to 60 miles away. When I had an antenna mounted originally right here, for one reason or another, if I got channel 3 in, I would lose channel 8. And I fought with it for months and designed, I'd say, maybe 10 different antennas to try to work on this particular pole right here, and all of them had trouble. And then I even bought $150 antennas, and even it had a trouble. And I finally started figuring out when I would point north and I would start receiving channels from the south that there's a lot of reflections. And one of the major reflections comes from areas like this, that house over there, through here, through this tree, is directly in the path that you need to shoot to really be on line with the Tampa stations. The Tampa, Tampa stations from here are about five degrees or 10 degrees before zero, and they go to about, I don't know, 25 or 30 degrees after zero north. So it's maybe 30 degrees uh, northeast for the bulk of them. And this is a hard shot, even from a top of a roof to try to get anything that's going to actually penetrate through these trees. And then Fort Myers is oh about I guess 130 degrees through this mess over here. So there is no good viewpoint, especially not here in Florida where the houses are low. And if you wanted to get up above these trees, you would have to go way up in the air with a tower to try to not have the trees. So the egg beater antenna seems to be working a lot off of reflections and the ground plane and other things that normal antennas don't really look for. The other thing that happens when you're trying to tune an antenna is that every antenna you buy has a predominant direction and usually it sees only in that direction. So you go to try to get something in the north, you're not likely to, your television is not likely to find anything to the, to, let's say, the east or the southeast. It may pick up some signal from the absolute opposite side of the antenna, but antennas are directional. And you know, if you have a rotor and you go ahead and you tune your you, you turn your antenna towards Tampa and then you scan you get all the all of the uh, Tampa station but you don't get uh, the, the TV doesn't find the stations in Naples and so then you would have to reverse or, or rotate your antenna and you would have to scan the television again in this direction and then it would find all the stations that way and it only finds a couple of the stations in the Tampa area so you just don't have a good choice because you won't get both sides from any antenna that I had and the general multi and omnidirectional antennas are very weakly designed they're just basically designed to pick up things in every direction around you if it's really close they don't have a preference of a direction at all so a lot of my design was to get an antenna that would react in multiple directions.
what I've done here is this gives me the rooftop which allows those signals to move around objects and the objects and then collect back up in a line and that's just what these signals seem to be doing if you can get a clear space around your antenna around the antennas that I'm designing it doesn't necessarily have to be dead on target things will move around if you can get a little clear space if you're shooting five feet from a tree you're not going to get anything in that in the direction that's blocked by the tree but if you can move 20 feet away and you have a flat surface you're going to start to collect up the things that manage to skirt around it so when we go down and test this one antenna we're, we're still going to be shooting through this whole mess here, which includes power lines. And those power lines really are at the same level as, as your rooftop antenna, and that doesn't do your antenna any favors.